Mm. Okay. I see you, McDonald's. I see what you guys are doing with this. It's not bad, it's pretty good. What up YouTube? What up everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Just over here, just chilling in my room. Uh, just ordered some food here in, in the app service Rappi, the Mexican Uber here in Mexico. And I want to show you guys what $10 can get you here in Mexico. Um, I actually got an offer. Got a few promotions with this order. So I ended up paying for everything. In total, it was. Okay, so in total, I ended up paying 157 pesos um, for the two hamburgers. It was. 118 pesos which is about six dollars um the i got a cheesecake that was 39 pesos and then the coke and the fries were included with the 118 so i basically uh ended up paying about eight dollars for this um so it's not ten dollars and the pain well it's it's about ten dollars probably a little bit more but with the promotions um and everything it's like a dollar and 50 cents for the delivery here uh, depending on the distance but normally they charge me like 30 pesos which is a dollar and 50 cents um but yeah let me show you guys how the hamburgers look like so this is just a regular hamburger right here cheese hamburger and we're gonna see what it has. Okay, so compared to the ones in the States, um, I don't, I think it's just because, you know, they brought it in the motorcycle and this is a while since they cooked it. But yeah, this is a cheeseburger here in Mexico. Fries are pretty good. I have noticed that they are a little bit more saltier in the states. And then this is the, the cheesecake. Okay, I was finally able to take it out of the box. Okay, I've actually never had that cheesecake. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. It's all right. Mmm. Okay. I see you, McDonald's. I see what you guys are doing with this. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's not your traditional cheesecake, but it's pretty damn good. It's the cheesecake. It's the pan. Eh, pan de queso. No es, eh, El pan de queso tradicional que venden, pero sabe muy bueno. And of course, the soda. So the medium-sized medium soda. And tastes the same. Okay, something I would like to mention to you guys 
and I've noticed that it's uh, mostly everywhere in here in Mexico with almost all the restaurants is that you gotta tell them for extra sauce or sometimes even tell them to bring the sauce because they won't bring it. Um, when I order Little Caesars, not only here in Sinaloa, but other states as well, they never bring um, the peppers. They always forget or they tell them not to put any unless of, of course a customer asks. But yeah, that's another thing I have noticed that here in Mexico, they don't put the condiments, uh, sauces, none of that, unless you ask. And I'm not saying all places, but most of the places, and there are some people that I know definitely can understand. And I'm pretty sure they do it in other parts in the world, probably in the States as well. But yeah, showing you guys my experience here in Mexico. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more in this adventure with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section what, what things you guys want to see. See you guys next time.